What's up, YouTube? And what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero. Welcome to a special Pokemon TCG opening video. Today we're going to be going over the uh, the first pre-release that I went to for Crimson Invasion, uh, which was just tonight, actually. If you're wondering why the video is so dark compared to normal, well, that's exactly why, because I just got home from it, and I want the video to be up tomorrow, so you'll have to you'll have to deal with the lighting, but. Uh, it was fun, as always. Pre-releases are always a whole lot of fun. I will be going to another one next Sunday, um, so you can expect a video for that probably on Monday. As I've said at the beginning of today's and yesterday's videos, uh, what we're going to be doing until Ultra Sun and Moon come out is on the second video of the day, so our 6 p.m. time, will just be a random video, whatever it could be. So yesterday we did um, Sun and Moon anime review. Today is going to be this Crimson Invasion pre-release. Uh, and then uh, tomorrow will probably be Pokin. I have no idea. But I hope you wind up enjoying the variety of videos that we see during this time up until Ultra Sun and Moon. Um, so if we look at the pack cam, the dark, the very dark pack cam, uh, we see this Crimson Invasion box that we got. And if you're used, to, if you've seen pre-releases before, like on my channel or on other channels, you know how this works. So, <clears throat> um. If I open this, there's a big spoiler right there. So how about we go ahead and cut to the video of where I opened all the packs and we'll be back in just a moment. you can see the excitement we did manage to pull a buzzwall gx which is the first thing that we're going to see when we open this up now the first thing i'd like to do before we open up our last three packs is i want to talk through the deck that i wound up using made out of the cards that you saw so first up is our buzzwall gx and it's a red gx um, so that's what all the ultra beasts are you can see up here it says ultra beast uh, which is pretty cool this card actually won me the first game i did wind up going one and two with this deck um, the second game I could have won because of Buzzwool, um, but unfortunately I, I forgot about a card that my opponent had down. Uh, but <laughs> Buzzwool, really good, was really happy to at least pull some GX because I know a lot of people don't pull GXs when they go to pre-release. And for $30, you gotta pull something. So, then I used, um, pretty much everybody was running this Mawile because of its call for family, so you can search the deck for any uh, two basic Pokemon and put it on the bench. I didn't get to use that. Uh, Salandit to Salazzle. Uh, I use this a lot. So Severe Poison does four damage counters every single turn. Um, got me a whole lot of kills. And Nasty Plot also came in, came in clutch as well, letting me search my deck for two cards. Um, then we have Ghastly, Haunter, the Gengar. Uh, this Gengar actually wound up going against me, but it wasn't too big. Basically, its ability just says when you put an energy down on your Pokemon, or when your opponent puts an energy down on their Pokemon, they take two damage counters to that, so nothing big. Now, this was the card that I should have rode more. This was my heavy attacker, Cacne at a Cac turn. So, Spike Ren says that if, you ha if your opponent has any damage counters on them, <clears throat> Uh, the attack does 60 more, so it does 90. And in this format, that would have been great. If you could, especially if you could get like Gengar out before your opponent gets set up. I almost had that in game three, but I was going against a Nihilego, and uh, he just got set up before me and just destroyed me. Just ran through every everything. And then Lusamine is a new card in this set, and I use Lusamine in every in every game. So uh, you just pick up any two supporter cards from the deck, and in this. In this format, where Kukui and Hao and Lily are the only, or I guess Ansophocles, are the only supporter cards that you have, that was really big to have. So, 
<sighs> I feel like that's everything on that. Let's go ahead and get to the point that we're here, the reason we're here, and that is these three other packs that we have. We have Buzzwool, Cartana, and Guzzlord. Now, I asked the guy for three good packs. I don't know what that means. I don't know if we'll get anything good. Um, I didn't do a set preview for this set. I might go ahead and do a set review just so we have all of the sets on our channel, but let's start off with this Buzzwool, which is the one we pulled. So this is our boy, per se. We're hoping for something in these packs. I'd really like, you know, we only pulled one, one GX so far. I hope you didn't see that code card. Oh, gosh. I hope you didn't see that code card, but it's a dark energy. <clears throat> so again, I haven't really seen all of these cards. I've kind of looked through them. <clears throat> But I haven't looked through them as like I normally do. I don't know. We might do a set review. If you'd like to do a set review, if you'd like to see a set review, make sure you let me know. Reverse Cubone. There was also a Sea of Nothingness. Cubone and Starmie. Two packs to go. Ah, let's do Cartana last. Let's do Guzzlord. I would love to just pull another GX. You know, the Sun and Moon sets, I say this in every video, but the Sun and Moon sets have not been very nice to us uh, as far as... Uh, oh my gosh, what is up with this? As far as giving us something more than a GX, we haven't pulled anything more than a GX in a very long time. So, this is the first time I've seen this Magic Cart. Oh, that's cool. You can't have damage done to it. Cool. It's on the bench, that's pretty cool. Does tilting the cards like this help? Or is it irrelevant? Oh my gosh, I'm skipping cards. Fighting memory, folly, execute, and a hound doom, and I forgot the energy thing. All right, last pack. <sighs> Depending on what this is, I will either go back to the place um, that I did the pre-release at, or I won't. Oh, so we'll see. All right, that time I did not see the code card, so I'm gonna go with a fire energy. The fairy energy. That was close. All right, come on. Let's let's get something good. Let's get something good. Please, maybe, maybe. The land it and the registeel. So the only thing that we have to celebrate our $30 of pre-release is this Buzzwool. It could be worse. We could have not gotten anything, but that's kind of underwhelming. If you did wind up enjoying this video, make sure you hit the like button down below. Do subscribe. Let me know what you got at your pre-release. Hopefully it's a lot better than what I got. And like I said, next Monday, I think we're going to have another pre-release video. Unless my friend can't go, then I might not go again. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see you next weekend for the next Pokemon TCG video. Until then, have a blessed day.